These tests will simulate a large landmine blast and demonstrate the effectiveness of blast wrap in such a threat. As you watch this vehicle rising about 20 feet in the air and completing a 360 degree flip, the size, color, and duration of this fireball indicate an extremely intense blast. Considering the intensity of this blast, the obvious question is would passengers in this vehicle have survived it? Looking inside the vehicle gives you a very clear and obvious response. They had no chance. Now let's take a look at the same five pound blast. The only difference, this time the vehicle is protected with blast wrap. The most obvious and very telling sign of the difference in this blast is the lack of fireball which speaks directly to the lack of pressure and intensity in this blast. And the same question is appropriate here. Did they survive? In spite of the damage in the front end of the vehicle, the doors open, the glass remains in the vehicle, and even the soft skin mannequin, upon careful inspection, reveals no secondary fragmentation. These people survived. So let's look again at the substantial contrast in a split screen review of the unprotected versus blast wrap protected vehicle. From the same camera angle, on the same timeline, in the upper section of the split screen, you see the unprotected vehicle. Fireball is obvious, it's large, and it's a long sustained duration. But indeed in the lower section, the blast wrap protected section, you see no visible fireball. This simply equates low pressure, low intensity of the blast being felt by the occupants of that vehicle, and in fact, the difference could be life or death. The intensity, and especially the acceleration and displacement of this event will save lives.